happy Saturday. This is Sherry from Style Stories. Today's video is going to be a little bit different than what we normally do because I have a question for you. We are coming into the summer months and I wonder if you realize what a woman of influence that you are. I don't want you to sit and look at this and think, I'm not a woman of influence. Those are for the bloggers. Those are for the people who are on social media. They're the influencers. No, you are an influencer. You are an influencer, whether you have a platform, like they say, like, like a YouTube video or a podcast or a blog, but you are an influencer right where you are whether it's a large platform or whether it is your one child who's home or the person who you met at the grocery store today, the one that you encouraged. Remember her? Remember that person who looked really downtrodden and you walked through the line and you gave your best smile and you asked them how they were doing and you really cared? Uh, or you were an influencer when you went through the drive through to pick up your Diet Coke from McDonald's and you told the person at the counter what beautiful smile she had or he had or uh, what great hair. Whatever it is that you think about yourself when it comes to the world of influencing, I want you to know that you are one. And so I want you to think about what it is that you do in your life. And I want you to think about who that you come in contact with on a regular basis and what kind of impact you're having on them. And so think about your church group or, or your, your, your card club or your, your bunco group or uh, the people at the pool that you're going to be seeing this summer. Maybe it's in your own backyard, a bunch of uh, kids come over, your grandkids or your children and their friends come and spend time. The reason I'm saying this is I think that as we head into the summer months, we forget and we sit back and we have kind of a, a, a lackadaisical uh, kind of sometimes feeling about our lives like, oh, it's summer. I'm just going to rest and I'm going to relax and I'm going to check out. You can absolutely rest and relax and you should. But I don't want you to ever forget that there are people that you are influencing on an everyday basis. And so I recently was in Nashville, Tennessee, and I did some color analysis on two large platform influencers. We're gonna pop up some videos there, and one was Rebecca Lyons, one was Brandy Wilson. And these are women who influence people on, the, on their social media, and when they're also out speaking. And so they have large platforms to influence women. And then I want you to take a look at this next little short clip. Maybe you, some of you remember a couple of months back, I did a couple of, um, took some of the gals that I mentor through, I'm a church mentor for uh, a couple of women who were incarcerated and who are now out. And so I just make sure they show up at church each, su each Sunday, if it, even if it means that I have to go drive and pick them up and bring them. And so whatever it is, uh, as you're looking here, I took, and then I took some of them shopping and you'll see a couple of those videos right here. But, you know, as we go into the summer months, I just started thinking, how is it that I can encourage my viewers, those who watch, to remember that you are an influencer. And I often get asked questions about even how could you influence through doing color analysis on someone or being, you know, a Christian image consultant. These are women who have trained who are already out there impacting. And I even think sometimes they go through the training, women go through the training and forget what an impact they can have. Maybe some of you are watching this right now and you've already gone through my training and you're kind of afraid to get out into the community. Uh, just a reminder today, gals, that there are people who are waiting for your impact. There are people who are waiting to be encouraged. Uh, I don't know where you're sitting right now and watching me from, but whoever you see next, just, just 
make an impact on them and remember that you have a way to influence others that nobody else can. Only There's only one you. And maybe you've thought about even going through our Color Academy or, uh, or the Christian Image Consultant Academy. I invite you to go to our website and check that out. It's a way, it's a tool that you can use to influence others. That may not be for you, but I wanted to throw that out there just as a reminder that maybe it is for you. Maybe it is something that you think, huh, what if I had a tool that I could help women learn their best colors? I could help women learn their best body shape. Maybe you just want it for yourself. There's that as well. So then you can use it as a ministry. And so I just wanted to jump on here today and say, it is summertime and we have left May behind. We've left the last five months and now we're heading into two and a half months of summer, three months of summer. Don't waste it. Remember that you are a woman of influence and I'm here to encourage you and cheer you on and I can't wait to hear what you're going to do with this, this knowledge. And so put in the comments before you leave, how do you want to influence women this summer? And what is it that you do on a regular basis that you didn't even realize that you are an influencer on? So before I say goodbye to you today, if you are one of those women who think, okay, I just want to learn more, then go to stylebycolor.com. Click the box on the main page that says, I want to help others. There are two big boxes on the page. I want to learn more about myself. So that's more for the, if you just want, you know, information on color swatches and that sort of thing. And the other one is I want to help others. Click that box. There's a video there for me. And until I see you next week, I hope that you realize what an influencer you already are right where you are. Bye-bye.